wrestling fans and random fans from different types of media. And now let's this week's edition of Wrestling Shuffle Presents Weekly Gamble. Here's my sign guy, Andy. Andy, meet the people. People, meet Andy, my assistant. Now, if you're seeing this video for the very first time and then check my last weekly gamble, this is how it's playing. I have three available topics up for discussion, but only one will be selected. And only one is wrestling related. You know, I only choose one topic because uh, besides making the video that much shorter, I like to give all my intention, thoughts, creativity, all of my being, sweat, blood and tears, and only one. And besides, I am the wrestling shuffler. Shuffle things up, it's what I do. Now, let's see the three available topics up for discussion. The first topic is labeled identities. The second topic is internet wrestling fans. The third and final available topic is what makes great music. Now, to me, I would love deeply to discuss any and all of the three topics. But, yet again, I am the wrestling shuffler. And it's much more fun to me if I could shuffle things around. Plus, it's much more unpredictable to you and for me. And that's the much more fun thing to do here on YouTube these days. Now, let's shuffle things up! Let's shuffle things up. Let's shuffle things up. Let's shuffle things up. Yeah, um... Ah, yet. let's do it this way. Let's make things up. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, in case you're wondering, yeah, I did see the Drunken Shell by the End of Shell. I must say, I like, uh, I found uh, pretty much all of the video interesting. I like how I managed to shuffle their livers. I actually appreciate it and respect and found it cute that they utilized Josh. They took Josh's spine away from him and make him into a puppet and only to get on my nerves. To play with my mind, I found that was cute. Pretty cute fun games. Pretty cute kitty game. Uh, shuffle games. But... It wouldn't be a whole hell of a lot more spectacular in the in the rap shells part if they would actually stop being around the bush and find their blood and guts and challenging me to do something about it. Otherwise, to me in the rope show, you're just nothing more and all shuffling taco and all talk and no shuffle and to me all talk and no shuffle just makes you dull puppet pals so have fun in your tea party against off the rope show original members and when you finally have the guts to do something against the shuffler instead of talking and jiving and being cute about it Maybe we could actually talk business. Now, let's speed it up the bush. Oh, my first topic is already selected. And the topic is... Labeled identity. Yeah, labeled identities. Um, what I mean by labeled identities is... When I was a teenager, I used to brag myself as being a rocker. Although, I pretty much played with a band when I was basically a drum for a toy drum set. Hey, you know, lack of money. Um, and plus, uh, drum, 
drums are expensive at Portugal. But I had a band, and I used to pray myself as a rocker, say, oh, I'm the rocker, and all of that. And, uh, but I soon come to learn that when you label yourself, in my opinion, you tend to limit yourself as a person. And by that I mean, uh, I take for example the punk ideology. That especially the teenagers say to themselves, Oh, you listen to this? Oh, uh, that's not punk. Oh, you listen to this? Oh, you're not punk. You're not dressed like this. You're not punk. Man, and when they come with that philosophy, I think that, um, I think of a quote Johnny Rotten said that in the 70s that the punks ruined their own tank. They became an army. They invented a predetermined ideology, uh, suits, state of mind, and music taste, when the whole bit of it was just being yourself, being an individual, being creative, being innovative, not afraid of being different, and especially do it your freaking self. And that's my philosophy, because when I see people dressed as and they claim they're, oh, I'm a metalhead, oh, I'm a, a, a this, that, and other, I'm so much better than you, and you, you're a sellout, you were a rocker, or a, a, a funk, and all that, and now if you change, what's the matter with you? Man, um, when you label yourself or limit yourself in a category, and having and any kind of style, um, to me, you're limiting yourself because I seen videos for guys that say, "Oh, I'm a metalhead and I this and all that." I'm sorry, metalheads. I don't mean to insult you in any way. I'm just using as an example. Uh, I wanted to think that, uh, for example, in clarify me this in the comments. Uh, in order to me be a metalhead, do I only have to listen to metal? In order for me to be a, a rocker, let's say, do I only have to listen to rock? If I'm a nerd, uh, do I really have to only be a, a guy that studies and likes games and knows anything about games and whatnot? Can I be anything and everything? Involved? Can I have nuances of all of that instead using that as my uh, all identity? Because I found it that much more exciting when a person says, "Hey, I'm so and so," instead of "Oh, I'm a nerd," "Oh, I'm a geek," "Oh, I'm a skater," "Oh, I'm gay," "I'm bi," and whatever, because. Um, if you do that, that's fine by me, but, uh, to me, I don't like labeled identities, because I think they, they tend to limit yourself, because you're so much more as an individual, and it's much more f fun for me, let's say, to say, I'm the wrestling shuffler, Jonathan Goodboy, or Bruno Rodriguez, because Bruno Rodriguez, or any of these three, uh, names can be anything I want instead of saying, oh, I'm a metalhead, oh, I'm a geek, oh, I'm homosexual, oh, I'm crippled, all of this, on that, sorry, um, because I believe that you tend to limit yourself, because when a person comes to me, I can be a bigger metal rap geek and whatever than the average labels and those labels people put on themselves but and not act anything like a generic cliche standardized stereotypical way of presenting yourself in a category yeah I feel that teenagers and sometimes most adults tend to do that and I scratch my head on this topic and think, really? Uh, if I go around punks, 
and they don't like my preppy, let's say, way of wearing and don't like the punk bands or the music that I listened, uh, aside from the punk band, then are they really my friends? Especially as metal. When you go around metalheads, metal is saying that there's a uh, metalhead stick together or not, uh, probably so, but tell me the truth, and I'm really speaking out of ignorance, if you dress like a banker or like an executive guy and you say that besides you life, like metal, you like any and other type of genres around a around metalhead, will they really be your friend? Will they really take you in or will they spit on you or spit on you or, or say, go, no, you don't, you stay, you don't, yeah, you're a metalhead, la, 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 la. You know, um, so if they do that, uh, are they really your friends? Are really these groups that tight, that lovable and whatever? Because I think that these call label identities tend to uh, make, uh, give way to stereotypes and much more of an army type of mentality than union for all the other types of people that think in different types of ways and don't actually share the same point of view, like politics, religion, uh, group, or whatever. I don't like groups personally, because I think that when you're in a group, even in a friend group, you tend to think like them. You tend to not say all of the things you really want to say, but think collectively as a group. And by as a group, I mean you think collectively or say the things according to the leader. Yeah, I don't like that. I think that's boring to me. But anyway, that's my rambling. I've spent almost uh, 12 minutes and 25, 26, 27, 28 minutes talking about this. And I rambled long enough. This is... This was my weakling gamble. I am the wrestling shuffler. If this assistant sign guy is Andy, share comments about this topic uh, in the comments, in the video response, and whatever, and say what you think. Make a video response. Make this channel shuffle and roll. Subscribe, share your friends, join the club. You know, make this channel breathe. Or if you like it, of course. I'm not saying you sh you should make it. Uh, roll. Ah, uh, botching too much. Anyway, see you next week, you gamble.